And we're back. It's Thursday. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, hope you have enjoyed your holiday weekend. Hope we all remembered what the weekend was actually about. Uh, not that it was just a three-day weekend, but uh, that we were honoring those that have paid the ultimate price mm-hmm. for us to be able to sit here and, in our case, record this podcast and for you to sit there at home and listen to it. So to all the families... Uh, whose loved ones didn't make it back home we thank you we love you and you're appreciated more than you'll ever know amen that's right um, you know those guys run to gunfire and most of us run away from it so um you know without them america wouldn't be near as great as it is so you are correct we thank you but anyway look you're here in the duck call room that's youtube.com slash duck call room all one word all one word duck call room if you're listening on apple or spotify be sure to leave us a rating a review and we're available wherever you get the rest of your podcast so without further ado i do have something i want to talk side about and watch that Uh oh did you see what they caught in a pond in baton rouge no i didn't Uh uh-oh johnny d the wildlife and fisheries what did they show it on youtube no Oh. I mean, it's been all over the news. But oh. look, Wildlife and Fisheries confirm they caught a red-bellied piranha in a pond in Baton Rouge. <laughs> wow. A red-bellied piranha? And piranha. you're trying to tell us we've never seen a black panther? Thank you, oh. Johnny D. They got the body. <laughs> they got the body. All you boys with a black panther still ain't produced a body. <laughs> they got hey, the body. Hey, hey, they got the body, boys. The body, body. of and, proof. And the front of that body... It's full of one thing. Teeth. <laughs> sharp, sharp teeth. Now, how about that, though? Now, what, how do you explain that? Somebody, Ma- oh, oh, the easiest way somebody had him as a pet and yep. turned him loose. And guess what? Threw him in a pond. Now, I, answer this for me, Martin, because you'll probably know. An older gentleman that I was used to live close to said that a hurricane came up from the Gulf mm-hmm. and somehow or another brought piranhas? Well, all kinds of fish, but even sharks, and landed in fresh water. Sharknado? Have you ever heard anything like that? That's a movie on the sci-fi channel no. called Sharknado. Is it possible? Um, I would, well, I mean, anything's possible when it comes to nature, but I, it doesn't sound very probable. Mm-hmm. So, you, you know, know where I thought you was going with this? Sharknado? No, no, no. Slap him we for went, me. He's got a sunburn. Uh, don't, please don't slap me. No, no. We went on vacation, okay, to the Bahamas. I was with you. He was with us. Uh-huh. Carton was with us. And look. Johnny Sorry, D. Johnny, Johnny D. D. You D. Got weeded out. Johnny hey. D. was sleeping on his new hey. mattress. No, no. Look. Three <laughs> with weeks. With a silver spoon oh, and his Rolex. Beep, hey. beep, beep, yeah. beep. While we were in a mansion in the Bahamas. Which one of us got a silver spoon? Hey, we was down there, okay. And look, there was a big rock over there, okay, out in the middle of the ocean out there. And we'd watch the ocean liners come in between the big rock and us. Okay. So I come home, okay. Been about three weeks, you know. I go to practice my music with my voice coach, and he shows me a picture. Was okay. it, is it a picture of him protesting? No, 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 no. It's a picture of that stupid rock. But here's the deal about it, okay? All the water, ocean water, is gone. I remember when this happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm looking, and I'm saying, wait a minute. I told him, I said, Dave, he's what? I said, I was just there three weeks ago where you're showing me the picture of it. <laughs> this is true. I said, hey, I watch ocean liners loaded with people come in between me and that stupid rock. And I said, now I'm looking at people out there walking on dry ground picking up seashells for crying out loud. <laughs> I said, did this hit the newspaper's front page or anything? Or was there anything said about it on the radios and everything down there? And he said, no. Nah. I said, you know, you, our media is terrible. They report nothing, yeah, okay, except stupid stuff. Sir, my okay? question is this. <laughs> yeah. Where did it go? Hey, look, here's what, they, here's what they said. A hurricane come through, okay, and lifted – Billions of gallons of ocean water and took it away. 
My question is, it's about 10 miles. You could see dry ground. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I was looking for, what is it, a tsunami? A tsunami? A tsunami. I, I was looking because, hey, all this water is gone, okay? And when water like that disappears, usually here comes it. Here it's coming back. Well, no, it, hey, it didn't. It didn't rush right back. It just gently fill back right. up. Had to backfill. Yeah, yeah. But how stupid is that? I don't crazy. know what we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, just a hurricane. The power of a storm. It's like a storm surge. Like if you was on the other side of the island, you was five foot underwater. But yeah. since you was on that side of the island, it was just dry, dry ground, ground, far as you could see. It was the same thing. The other time he showed me a picture. And it's where the Mississippi River runs into the Gulf of Mexico. Mm-hmm. Okay, and look. The Delta. This is, this is, and it's as far as you can see towards the sunset. They took the picture right at sunset. As far as you can see. You got muddy Mississippi River water on this side, and it's like a thin line running out of sight. And over here, you got blue ocean water. Okay, and it went slam out of sight. They wasn't mixing yet. Yeah, that brackish water. Current. The hey, currents yeah. were going opposite you could, each you other. You could have actually threw on the left side of the boat. I mean, put your boat right in the middle of the line, threw over here and caught freshwater fish, threw over here and caught saltwater <laughs> fish. <laughs> Two for one. But it's insane. Today and I said, the same thing with that. I said, was this on the news? Was this on the front page? No. <laughs> uh, well, that's because hey, there was no piranhas. Hey, hey media, you need to do your job. Tighten up, media. Hey, hey tell them, like you, oh, tell them hey, what you feel I about do. it, si. That's Golly. Stupid. We all started with a piranha. Now we're talking about the wonders that are water. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I love wonders it. Of this but if, if you don't understand what Cy is talking about, I can tell you a good way to figure it out. Google it. Go on your river, oh. on your local river if it's got barge traffic. And just go sit there and wait on a barge. Because before that barge gets to you, he's so heavy, he lifts the water right up under you. And then when he gets even with you, it's rough. And then when he goes past you, he sucks the water out from under you. It's the craziest thing you've ever seen whenever you, if you're fishing and a barge comes by you. Like, I had two of them last year that I passed on the Washita River. And I thought I was going to die on that second one. Because I didn't know he was there. And I come around that corner on pad, and there he was. And I said... Oh, boy, this is yeah. going to be rough here Yeah, because I got in that barge waking. But what it's doing is it's pushing and pulling that water so he can get up the river. And, man, that thing, golly, he pushes a lot of water. And I was like, well, that's it. I said, "Well, I, you, I hope this life jacket works, boys, because yeah. I am. Yeah. I, I Cause passed that sucker on pad. Okay, they're like, pushing a barge, okay, and about 90% of it is underwater. Yeah. And it, well, this one was full of crushed concrete. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Hey, hey, full of crushed hey, concrete. Hey, you talking about heavy water and displacement. It's, it's called water displacement, okay? Yep. So once it's pushing like you said, there's going to be a, a big fall behind it. Yeah. I think the uh, the physics term, is it Bernoulli? The Bernoulli effect? Johnny D, check that. Is that, is that Bernoulli. right? Bernoulli. Oh, I've never heard that. Bernoulli, Bernoulli effect, boys. Bernoulli's principle. Is that the one with... We're about to find out what Bernoulli is he or is he gas? Hmm. Which hey. one is he? Is he water Bernoulli's or gas? Bernoulli's Increase hierarchy in speed of, need. of a fluid occurs simultaneously <laughs> with a decrease in static pressure. Yep. Yeah. Well, right. we're getting there, but maybe it's Archimedes yeah. that did that. I don't know. It's the one that threw the thing of gold in the bathtub and watched the water rise and yeah. all that. Yeah. Talking about density and well, that's why gold when it's in water no goes idea. to the bottom. <laughs> this we, yeah. we've gone. It's weight. So have you when ever panned for gold? Water, gold. That's why you find gold at the bottom of creeks. Well, so do rocks. Well, no, I know, but hey, gold's heavier than <laughs> rocks, J.D. You float probably, right. huh? Huh? Well. Goblin's hey. a floater. Hey, Goblin is a floater. floater. Some people float are good. No, I sink. You sink? Yeah, I sink. I'm a sinker. Yeah, I'm a sinker. I'm a sinker. Right. Goblin lay out there and just float. And yeah. I'm like, how in yeah. the world do you do that? The only place I'd float in salt water. Yeah. Well, salt water ain't going to let you sink. Oh, it'll let you. Well, I mean, it's yeah, just a lot I, harder. Yeah, it's just harder. But now, Goblin's like an island out there in salt water. Sign all your years. Have you ever panned for gold or know anybody that no, has? No, I wish. Okay, I wish when I lived in Alabama because they, they tell you. The gold if, rush of Alabama. No, gold no, rush. No, no, I'm serious. I think there was where I those. lived, okay, where I fished in Paint Rock River, okay, they've got what they call black sand. Mm-hmm. 
Well, wherever you find black sand, you also find gold. That's true. Mm. I wash enough gold fever. To okay. No, no, no. Gold. Look, and everywhere I fished down there on that stupid river was black sand everywhere. I got the gold right here. So I said, <laughs> yeah, why didn't you pan for gold while you was living there, you idiot? You was too busy feeding them squirrels yeah. strawberries. Hey, well, hey, yeah, hey, I know it, hey. Um, <laughs> oh, that's pitiful. <laughs> well, the good news, size, the gold rush in Alabama ended in 1849. Oh, I, hey, which was still, when you were still a child. There's still so. gold in there, though. Trust me, son, there's still in there. Do you still okay. think there's gold that in Oh, Alabama? yeah, that didn't get it off. Paint Rock River, I'm telling you, for those that live in Alabama. <laughs> the paint... I, it's black sand all over the paint black rock sand. River. Go find you some gold, boys. Paint uh, rock river hey. gold in Alabama. I'm gonna hey. find out. Well, I'm, hey, look, while you're finding that out, let's find some gold here in these commercial breaks. Let's take our first break. We'll be right back after this. Gold, boys. I got the gold, Paul. Backed by 35 years of research and development, <laughs> and look, boys, it's working personally for you and here's the best part of it the pristine waters of new zealand that's the key that's where go. they're coming from uh, one of these days size grandkids gonna ask him how he made it and he's gonna say omega xl boys. <laughs> oh, he never let go boys he never got off of it because it attacks the inflammation that's causing the pain not just like the topical rubs and creams that cover it up we're treating the problem right at the source, and it is from those pristine waters of New Zealand, from the green muscle, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Omega, Omega X. X. Yeah. 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 And yes. If you, and if you Love ask Cy, it. it should probably be Omega Double XL. Come on, that's Cy. how good it works. Yeah. But look, don't just take our word for it. Our buddy Travis from Kentucky, Trab big dog. fan of the show, he said, just want to pass y'all a little plug for Omega XL. Appreciate y'all turning me on to it. I have a neck issue that flares up, or it used to. T-Dog. About three or four days a month, he would be locked up in bad pain, but not anymore. He grew up playing three sports, bad knees, bad everything. But what he didn't have a problem with was a selfie video during the middle of the commercial. So now, Travis is pain-free, all thanks to Omega XL. Let's help get you started. All you have to do is order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. How do we do it? We either call 1-800-844-4888. boys. Is that right? That's 800-844-4888. I know that better than my mom. Or the easiest way is to just go to OmegaXL.com slash duck. There it is. And get you not one but two bottles of and Omega one of them is free that second one you don't even pay for it that's it it just comes with the first one <laughs> i got nothing else y'all omegaxl.com slash duck if y'all don't, don't know it by now shame on you 1-800-844-4888 there it is right. John D., what's wrong with you today? You awful quiet. Did Warren got I, you shook? Well, no. Oh, I was just curious. Um, he got a sunburn. No, this sunburn's got me like, bleh. Oh, he just... But I'm beach? also super confused on how did what you in get, the world he keeps How did you get about. sunburn? Well, it was Memorial Day. And? Yeah. So I was at a swimming pool for... Oh, I thought he was going to tell me he worked outside. I did do that, too. No. I trimmed some bushes up. He trimmed oh. with his battery-powered equipment. Johnny D is off of two cycle motors altogether. I'm on he's that battery powered yard equipment. Yeah, he's on the battery bag. It's, he's Elon Musking it, boys. It's nice. He's, you he's plug it in, you throw it on there, and it just goes. he's taking the ego power to the moon, it's just, boys. He's just gonna your weed eaters. Just, he's on a power trip. I love it. No, but yeah, then I was teaching my son to dive in the swimming pool, the five year old, and I. Apparently he stayed in the pool too long. I did oh, yeah, not you, notice. That flesh ain't seen sunlight since September. Yeah, I, yeah. well, I mean, <laughs> I normally am under an umbrella. So, I mean, you look like. A did your feet ball. get? Did your feet get sunburned, cotton or did you ball. have your socks on? <laughs> well, hey, you I look, look like a big cotton ball. Well, hey, then you got out in the sun. <laughs> Don't move, JD. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty red. <laughs> ah, that, it doesn't hurt that bad. But you know that feeling you get after. Sorry, summer, check it right? out. Field test it, Si. He already did about three <laughs> times before we started. I started while he had it. You'll pop it. If you put your out. tea glass on there, he'd melt all your eyes. That's a problem. Uh, it's it's that fever feeling you got mm, whenever fever. you're sunburned. Fever. That's what I'm feeling today. Yeah. That's what you put on it, J.D., ice. Ice? Yeah. No, I prefer that green aloe vera stuff. It makes you about twenty degrees. That's the just put cool. some. I don't like cool. peanut. Just put that, some peanut butter. You won't on know it. what's bad. That sunburn you got on your arm. 
multiply that times five, and that was side day one That's in right. the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. On his oh, legs. On his legs. And then I had that green stuff he was talking about. I, <laughs> I left just a big, yeah. thick film of it on my leg. Yeah, you put that aloe on him, <laughs> and it started look, bubbling. He couldn't leave the room. <laughs> oh, no, no. He, he couldn't leave the room. I'm serious. I had a half inch deep. <laughs> just, okay. You were just bathing in it? Oh, hey, because I was burnt. I need to. I mean, I was burnt. Oh. So, look, we just played dominoes in size room. Everybody would come to size room and play dominoes. Yeah, you know? one in the morning. Side so sleep all day. The rest of us go out all day oh, and no. be tired. And side so like, y'all ready to play domino? Yeah, yeah let's was, go, boys. I was burnt legs, and Stone was sick as a dog. He got some bug down there. Yeah. So Man, oh, yeah. Me and Stone three, spent three days, okay, in the Bahamas. Stone thought he was going to die. We was yeah. in the house, okay. We didn't get out there. And the water receded. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, and the <laughs> yeah. water. That was right. a couple of weeks after yeah, we got home. That was later, water Johnny now, D. Pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. It, we oh, were right, we right. were there right before the hurt right before that hurricane here. Yeah, I don't remember. It's been how long? It been five years ago, probably six. Five or six. But years. that was yeah. right. what hurricane was it? That was I amazing. don't remember, but it ripped Irma? through them. No, no, that was amazing to see. Yep. Okay, because I'm looking and when I say your sunburn, no, no, <laughs> the, the, yes, it was. The ocean disappeared. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh. I'm talking about and now for I'm my next trick. Billions of gallons of salt water gone. <laughs> And okay. Gone. Just gone. 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 Forever. And all them poor spiny lobsters we couldn't oh, catch no. was yeah. out there high and dry. Yeah. Somebody just picking them off picking one them by up. one. Hey. There you go. <laughs> picking them up. Hey, we done that with crawfish that one time good, down there at yeah. Dog Wild. What's that? Picked them up, Hank? Picked, picked, oh, yeah. Picked, hey, I mean, hey. I'm Were they talking, migrating across the street? Uh, yeah. No, oh, it yeah. Was, it was, uh, I've been there on oh, that with a dip It was net. breeding season, okay? And there was literally the thing dried up, okay? And I mean- we picked what number three wash tub slam full. Mm. Yeah, when we had that late hey, flood, you pick it up five and six at a time. They all hooked together with their claws. When whatever. we had that late flood, was it two or three years ago? Yeah. I was driving out there through that rice country, and I saw all these white birds, and I was like, "What, what are they doing out there? Just all and together?" They were descending, and there was a trail of crawfish heading for water. They oh, were yeah. just there, like, yeah. "Uh oh, we yeah. done got caught with our britches down," yeah. and they just walking. And you get up there, and it looks like, I don't know, look like some kind of migrant caravan, but it's all crawfish. And we just went out there, picked us up about 75 pounds of them right off the ground, and then we ate them. But them birds is what clued us in on. Them white birds, oh, them no, old great no. egrets and cattle egrets were out there just well, feasting. When when the water they goes good, down too, clean. over on field land, starts drying out and goes down, and it gets down to just shallow water and muck, mm-hmm. hey, them egrets just... They Here come, they come from everywhere. How do they know? Just <laughs> they know though. How do now, they Phil, know? Phil's been over there when the water is just starting to ease over the levee, when, when it's coming up, mm-hmm. and and watch millions of crawfish come across that levee, coming in the, in his lake. Safe spot. Millions, brother. Yeah. Millions. Trying oh, no, to find them. Oh, yeah. spot. Saw that whole levee be solid yep. crawfish. Yeah. You think it was a million? Oh, yeah, more. Probably three or four. Yeah, yeah I bet yeah, it was, more. too. Yeah. At least. I've seen them It's called a migration, like that. boys. Mm-hmm. Hey. Crawfish migrate. Oh, they do. Learn oh, something. Speaking of that, I was telling the Stone and Josh down there about squirrel hunting and hunting migrating squirrels. Well, they all laughing, okay? So <laughs> I didn't understand what they was laughing so much, but anyway, they like Then when I got with Dr. Dean when we went to his place and was telling him, you know, Stone was telling me. He said, oh, I liked it, him talking about them migrating squirrels. Well, Stone had Googled it. I'm currently. Oh, okay. And look, you're going to find out that they migrated and swam across the Mississippi River and thousands, literally thousands, drowned. Of squirrels? Mm. Squirrels. Dang. And they said, now I'm talking about what they Googled it, billions. They billions. said billions of squirrels migrated they were in that salt water when right. over yeah. in bahamas oh no hey it's unreal yeah. stone you know and then that's when i told stone and, and josh i said now i understand why y'all was laughing y'all thought i was bsing well i wonder where they got that yeah, idea from hey. Hey. it's only five percent true no hey it's 95 percent true boys five percent to kick it up a little i will say some of your tall tales have i 
I'm convinced that you really know how to use a computer and you're letting us on and you research this stuff to tell good There's stories. There's a lot of, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm convinced because there ain't no way you're a dadgum encyclopedia. Hey, but I'm you seem to be. You. Well, no, no, you got to think of them here, boys. I'm 73 years old. A lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of things. He's yeah, seen a lot but of I don't things. remember what happened last week. Well, How in the I'm world do you remember you. the hey. great squirrel migration oh. of 1974? Because, like, hey, yeah. no, no, here's the reason I remember it. This because, is amazing. Look, I had went to the store and bought just bought a brand new 22. They were on smooth Marlin. out of bullets. No, no, you? no, look, a 22 <laughs> Marlin. Okay. Well, hey, Phil had called me and said, hey, look, I found them. He said, meet me up here you know, at this place in Arkansas. I said, okay, I'll be there at daylight, before daylight. Yeah. So we, I come walking up, and he said, uh, what kind of guns that you got? I said, uh, a new twenty two. He said, son, I told you these are migrating squirrels. He said, you ain't no kill nothing with that twenty two rival. He said, they don't ever stop. And I said, oh, don't worry about me. I'm going to get a few anyway. <laughs> you know, so I, I thought he was lying about it. they don't ever stop. Look. They that, don't stop? No, no, look. <laughs> daylight broke, okay, and I'm looking, you know, and just through the top of the tree, just. Did you hit about any of them? About 100 yards wide, okay? They just, they never stopped. Well, I just said, well, hey, you're going to have to shoot them running, so. Pour the coal to them. Pow, 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 whoop. There's one, okay. <laughs> pow, 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 whoop. There's another one. Yo, so look, I come up there. I had, I had what, 10. Two over the limit. Yo, Phil, he took a Browning 16 gauge, and I'm not going to tell you, I mean, he had about five boxes of shells, and he shot That's all, all you need to know, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Statue of limitations you, ran out. He, had shot, probably. he shot five boxes of shells is what he shot. I'm not going to tell you what he shot. So killed. he got his eight. He got his eight. He well, got that's eight, good. for sure. That's good. But he was shocked. He said, I can't believe you actually killed. That many of these migrating squirrels. Were they cat squirrels or fox squirrels? Both. Both? Yeah. Oh, Mix. Yeah. Okay. That is wild. That's interesting. Well, let's migrate into our next break while we yeah, think well, about here these we migrating go. squirrels. Migrating. This is like a whole squirrels. new world that I'm reading about. Si, you know what I've come to find out? What's that? People tell you to grow a pair, but they never tell you what to do when that pair is sticking and flopping around. Right. We're here to go. separate the men from the boys. With Tommy John's hammock pouch underwear. underwear. Oh, Don't you love it? They've been providing scrotal distancing ever since before it was cool. You know what right. I'm saying? I got you. Look, when you're wearing Tommy John's hammock pouch underwear, you're that much more comfortable. So Ooh-hoo. you can do everything in life better. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. <laughs> They've got fanatics. And I'm wearing yeah. them. Right fanatics, now. they call the I hammock also. pouch one of life's greatest inventions. Would y'all agree? Y'all are both wearing them right I now. I would agree. I'm wearing them. I agree. Okay, because you can run. And they got they're gonna flop out, boys. <laughs> so you, you got him in a pouch. But you can't hide. That's that's yeah. that's an old man problem. Well, you got him in a pouch. That's definitely a plus. Oh, but dozens hey. of comfort innovations. Once you've tried Tommy John underwear, you're never going back. Like never an air mash interior hammock and moisture wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands. With over thirteen million pairs sold. 13 million pairs sold. Boys across America love Tommy John underwear because everything stays in place. No more flopping, sticking, or chafing. When you're 270 pounds, chafing's a real deal. It's a problem. Tommy John underwear has a non-rolling waistband for the perfect fit. The legs never ride up, and you're covered with Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free, guaranteed. And right now, you can get 20% off your first order at tommyjohn.com slash duck. That's 20% off your first order of underwear and or loungewear at tommyjohn.com slash duck. One more time, tommyjohn.com slash duck. See site. Hey, for and it's just like you ain't got nothing on. You're just in your birthday suit. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Johnny D. I'm Good uncomfortable. Job. The story. The Great Squirrel Migration the of great 1968. Squirrel migration of what? There's literally a paper on was it. Was it 68? Really? The, hey, there was the Great Squirrel was, Migration of 1968. There is a day. paper on it, and they were contacted by the greatest place I've ever heard of. The Smithsonian Institute actually had a Center for Short-Lived Phenomena. And what were they running office. from? The squirrels? Yeah. They were running to food. So they were out. 
That's it. They were out of food. No, no. And they so was out of food. All the squirrels got together and had a squirrel meeting and said, we, we got, got to go. We got to move. Follow me, boys. Do more. not slow down. Right. Hey, don't not stop. Not bearing <laughs> trees. But there is, there. well, so there was a center for short-lived phenomena. Don't fear the 22. Is it phenomena? Phenomena. That's, phenomena. that's more than one. Yeah. Yeah. Phenomena. So anytime there's a phenomena, the phenomena. center for short-lived phenomena. Phenomenal. No, anytime there's a phenomenon. A phenomenon. Phenomenon. The phen- there's the a phenomenon. A phenomenon. <laughs> Here's the deal with the center for short-lived phenomena. <laughs> that's it. I told you, the boys. Uh, it was only around for seven years. I love the phenomenon. So it was short-lived as well. It was short-lived too. <laughs> they figured out. Like, a short-lived phenomenon. So they were headed south looking for food yep they talked to the ducks so they the, got with them woodies and said what do y'all do yeah, when you get hungry yeah. what do you do yeah. and they said head south boy Tell me, hey they got food because down. look so the reason we figured out that they were migrating is because there was like uh people kept hitting them in the co- on the highway they're like what's up with all the dead squirrels now see if they would ban squirrels we could have known yeah all that's, they had to do was hey, ban them. That's why you can't. Ducks. That's why you can't kill many squirrels nowadays. Okay, they all died during the, the, the sixty-eight migration. migration. They all ran into size marlin twenty-two. Bow yow, bow yow. Is that still the same one you got now? Is that that marlin I fixed? Yep, a couple Johnny of D. Ago? Yeah, I'm learning all about. Squirrel I need to tell migration. you something, that's Johnny one D. I, that's the one I dropped and broke the stupid uh, broke pen. the stock on. Stock on. There's, there's video. That's that's they stupid. got no. Yeah. I ain't got video from sixty-eight. And a Johnny D. Migration, do they? I gave Cy those two pistols that didn't have pins in them. Do they work? Oh, they, 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 they got pins. They got pins in them. He, he's them been shooting everything I, in no, the backyard. I ain't, I ain't shot him yet because I ain't been to the store to get me forty five caliber Some bullets. Bullets. But he has held it. Because hey, I've been told Stone said he went to TP the other day and can't chef, get none. Chef the bear. Oh yeah, you know Ammo's evil eye hard... can get them for you. Yeah, huh? Evil, well, evil eye. Oh, that's right. I just have to call Stone. Yeah. I done told Martin to get me some. He ain't, he ain't I met him. Well, Martin can get it. No, I can't get well, no. Well, hey, he's I, got I'm, some people that he knows. Here's what I'll tell you. In our world, we've been blessed and fortunate that companies provide us with ammo to shoot. Yeah. yeah. Right now, we're on the bottom of the list because them boxes turn into $20, $30, and $40 bills. They don't. But it it ain't doing them no good if we shooting them right now. So we, you know, now come October we'll probably move back up on that list a little bit. Right. But for right now we at the bottom of that yeah. list because yeah. they they trying to make you money. You don't Welcome need to the none, bottom boys. side. Yeah. And I don't blame them. I would hey, too. Look, hey. If I could sell every duck call we had right now as fast as you could get it on the shelf and get it gone, yeah. I'd do it too. Oh yeah, sell them all. Get rid of them. That's good. It's good for. There's gold in there's them calls. Gold in them calls, boy. Yeah. Huh. So I did watch a good, the bad, and the ugly the other night. I oh, thought yeah, about I saw you. It on TV. You did, yeah. yeah. Good. The yeah. most amazing thing about that movie is that the guy that making all the sound effects is doing it with a guitar in his mouth. Mm-hmm. His name was John Godwin. No, no, no. <laughs> you ought to watch this guy do it. Uh, uh, Stone done it on his phone. Showed me. But the best part of the movie. Is when he lets you know what kind of men are in this world. There's only two types of men. You know? Do you remember that, sign? Nope. Those with loaded guns and those who dig. <laughs> dig. <laughs> he tossed that shovel to Tuco. He said, dig. Yeah. Then he said, ah, get up there, Tuco. <laughs> he, he let, Come on. He said. Uh, then it was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What what Tuco says? Tuco says, "How about I do the cutting from now on?" He's like, "No, no, no, I'm the cutter, boys. I'm the cutter. You're the hanger. I'm you, the cutter." That movie's four hours long. Oh, oh you it is. Know on, it. it is on TV, and in yeah. regulation, it's probably three ten or three something. hours and fifty eight minutes. But it goes oh. by quick. I don't think that's quick. It's oh. a good show. Have you not seen The Good, The Bad, and Ugly? I don't watch anything that's four hours long. Oh, my You've goodness. You've seen my attention right. span. You go in and sit down, and, and you're walking out. You need to walk. watch the first 45 minutes and the last 45 minutes. That mm-hmm. midsection gets a little long in there. Yeah. but yeah, th- them, yeah, break it up into three three parts. Them first 45 and that last 45 is worth watching. When they blow that bridge up, that's good. Whenever they go down there. <laughs> <laughs> Like- he takes that cigar out of his mouth and he lights that fuse. He said, we better go. <laughs> <laughs> as many movies what? as I've watched Clint Eastwood, mm-hmm. okay, from from early 
Raw High days has Rowdy Yates, okay? I did not know my wife, and I called her a liar when she said it. Huh. She said, oh, uh -oh. Dude, by the way, don't you, do you know? And I said, no, what? She said, he's allergic to horses. Eastwood is? Yeah. And I died out loud. I died laughing and said, you're a crazy woman. He stays on the horse. He's born on is the horse. Is that true, Johnny D? One hey. moment, please. Side. Hey. Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, when he comes and rides, has got cotton balls stuck up his nose, okay? <laughs> and has to have an inhaler to, to breathe. Wait a minute. Okay, because he's allergic to it. Survey says? Survey says he's allergic to it. Clint Eastwood may be one of the greatest on-screen cowboys, uh, but what you don't know is that he has a horse allergy. <laughs> <laughs> Sai, how does Sai know all this stuff? I don't According know, but they misnamed Google. It should just be called Sai. Hey, Sai that. Sai that yeah. for me. Sai check that. Despite course. having to be close to their presence, he had an allergy to the creatures. Yeah. Uh, it, it was reported in American film that Eastwood tried to limit his time around horses. Well, he wasn't ever really on them much, I don't guess. He was around them, but, oh, you he know. Rode, he, rode he rode them. them. He no, rode I know he, he rode, rode them. He rode them, oh, he rode them all the time. There's a lot of good truths, though, in all them Eastwood movies. Yep. Just like when he has that meeting with Ten Bears Ooh, that's about good, yeah. my word of life is true, yeah. so is my word of death. Yeah. I'm yeah. here to have either with either you. Either with so, you. Hey, I'm here to have either. No, and I, it, I can go either way you want to go with And then the best line in the movie that can still be used today, he said, it's a shame men can't honor each other and government has gotten in the way. Yep. I mean, they they's talking about that back in. Everybody thinks this is a new problem. They discussing that back in whenever outlaw Josie Wells was made. No, no. In the 60s, yeah. 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 And he said, it's a shame the government's in between all this. Well. And then they, they shook hands in blood. Mm -hmm. And look, him and Tim Bears, they good. They, blood they, brothers. You know, good like, to go. Like me well, and Martin. And, you know, and, and, yeah. and Eastwood called him and said, hey, I'll only take what I need to live just like you do. Yeah. The Comanches. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible that fight's been going on well, that long. No, no, because I looked at that because I've watched it and when I've you know fresh my mind, I was thinking, how great would it have been? We could have learned so much from each other. Uh huh. Instead of fighting. Yep. Amen. But it's still going on today. Oh, it is. Yeah. And still, everything's still in the yeah. way. No, no. Yeah, men are still in the way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's Can't we all just get along? Yeah. Well, look, let's get on along to our next break. We'll be back right after this. And I got something to ask y'all. Oh, okay. Do we really have an HR complaint? Yes. Oh, we do. Oh, pitiful. Hey, it's because the this duck call room was left filthy, and you complained about it to somebody, and it went all the way up to HR. Um, okay. Hey. Now Martin's on it. Uh, Martin, uh, how, hey. what should we do, Martin? <laughs> Tell us. Well, that's B A M to the B E E. Uh, how, is this, is, how is this going to be handled by the powers to be? Well, here we go. Uh, I'm, glad, here's the deal. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Huh? We could have an HR person, but that could cost you upwards of $70,000 a year. Even $100,000. Or, tell them, Martin, where could they go for a cheap HR solution? Here we You're go. Small here we business. go. Here we go. All right, look, it's not cheap, it's a value. Even better. That's what I'm talking about because all <laughs> we're going to pay is $99 a month once you sign up on Bambi.com. You did mess this part up. It's spelled BAM to the BEE.com. Get your free HR audit today because you don't want to spend all of your time solving HR issues. And when you work with the people like we do, Sai, they are HR nightmares because at this point they're 73 and they just say whatever's on their mind. And True. They hey, don't care. you can't go wrong with the BAM. Free! Look, okay. Free. <laughs> Your dedicated hey. HR manager is available by phone, email, or real-time chat. Look. With Bambi, you can change HR from your biggest liability and turn it into your biggest strength. All you have to do right now to get your free HR audit is go to Bambi.com slash duck and you'll schedule your free audit. That's Bambi.com slash duck spelled BAM to the B-E-E dot com slash duck. Check it out today. All right. Well, we're back. Look, Philip, you said you had something you wanted to ask us. Yes. What's so, you, what what you got? What, what one you of got my favorite time? one of my favorite cowboys of all time. I know Sai's got a bunch. Is John Wayne. Mm-hmm. So 
I need to know how big John Wayne's feet were. And that's just you're, guess. What you're asking you, us what size shoe or booty yeah, what wear? What would you guess, I? Johnny D, look it up. Oh, he's already there. Okay. I would say he was a big, tall man, right? He was, he was six four. Six, yeah, six four. One hundred and seventy yeah. pounds. Oh, he looked bigger than that. But his shoe size is probably twelve. <laughs> what do you say, Mark? Thirteen. Just because I'm six four. I say size seven. You what is it? Size seven. <laughs> yeah. Nine and a half. Tiny still, feet. That's, that's he had a small. tiny foot. Yeah, tiny feet. Some places say even huh. it was smaller than that. Well, uh, this okay. Now it's the eight and a half. Well, Wayne wore a size eight and a half and had relatively small feet for his six foot four frame. Well, but it makes sense if he was six four and one seventy because you don't need big feet to support well, one seventy. No, no, yeah. You bump up there around two seventy, you better have you some size thirteens <laughs> yeah, up under yeah, you. Just trust me yeah, on that one. Yeah. Amen. Now maybe mine started That's out as a size that. eight. So he what had like eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight. Eight and a half. We're gonna go with nine. Nine. Size nine. Six four. But you, I figured, you know, I know he was tall, but I'd have never guessed his weight at one seventy. Okay, I found the official John Wayne message board. Oh, good. Man, Let's go. The internet has everything, <laughs> and there was a discussion back in Ju- July of two thousand three on the Duke's shoe size. Um, and they landed on an eleven. Huh. Okay, that would make more sense. So I was close, and that's according to the John Wayne reference. I'll book. fix that. I was close with twelve. But what if he really did have tiny feet and was embarrassed, and he just told so he just wore big wore shoes, wore big no. boots, big the Duke. No, not the Duke. Have, the Duke didn't have no eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Sai. He's up there. Hey, no, <laughs> he was a man's man, boy. That's right. uh, hey, well, matter of fact, hey, I just watched the month of May, which was Duke month. Mm-hmm. Okay, all his great movies. Okay. He had some good ones. Yeah, and he had some good ones. Okay, I still him play. and Dean Martin. You know who loves real Bravo. You know who loves yeah. him is old Randy Byers. He's, oh yeah, he's no, got no. some memorabilia from yeah. No, no. Wayne. Uh, There's a lot of information on John Wayne on this website. Well, of course there is. John Wayne oh. was a he was a legend, man. Or no, he no. was a legend. Whatever yeah. you want, however you want to say that. Him and uh, uh, Ben Johnson. Oh yeah, Ben played, Johnson played a, in a lot of John Wayne. Now movies. Ben Johnson was a real cowboy. Uh, hey, Ben Johnson was he? he uh, ben Johnson. He was a, a roping champion. His dad was two time roping champion. Ben Johnson's dad, and Ben Johnson was actually he won it once. <laughs> he knows but lot. hey, but hey, I went to the Ben Johnson Museum in Oklahoma, which was cool. That's awesome. Uh, no, no, and I actually wore his. Ten gallon Stetson hat, the black one. Uh, yeah. I love when, when I, I love seeing size si a fan or something. No, isn't no, that, no, isn't no. That hilarious. Look at, every time you see it, it's the opposite. Yeah. Somebody's a fan of no, size. No. So when you he's see, waiting you know, in line to see Ben Johnson. Uh, yeah. No, no. Know, and I put that hat on. Museum. And I'm serious. I, I had chill bumps as big as marbles uh, on me just from wearing it. Cause I, he, you know, cause I said he he looks like you know. He don't look like he's acting. Well, when I read all the stuff in the museum, he wasn't acting. That's hilarious. He was a real cowboy that actually worked on a one of the big biggest ranches up there in uh, Oklahoma. Now, but what uh, is it about westerns? It's like when I was younger, my grandpa was sitting there watching westerns. I couldn't stand it. Like I was sitting there thinking, man, this is torture. But the older I get, the more I like westerns, and no, no, I, I no. think that's just a phase. Is that a phase everybody goes through? Or do you so. like westerns well, as a no, kid? I, or? I, it was, I had to get a me, little older for me. Yeah, with me, that was my heroes. Yeah, of the day, your heroes okay. always been cowboys. No, that no, was no. the only thing they to really watch in science. Because here's day. the thing, okay, yeah. it was always the good guy versus the bad guy, okay, and the good guy always won. That's biblical. They've got stu- no, 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 no. Here, good here's how over bad. Evil. No, no. Here's how bad the world's gone. They've got disclaimers on this stuff in front of like Marshall Edition or Gunsmoke series. This is not really the way it was. They've got disclaimers. Mm. Not the way it what was. Yeah. Huh? The way they're it- saying it wasn't real. That's you have to it- put a disclaimer on TV land. No, no, or- hey, I'm serious. 
like Mark said, I, since I've watched the men feel, okay, we watch Marshall Dillon all the time. Okay. Dillon. There is so much good stuff on that, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I don't even know how to, uh, the words to say what's happening. But it, it's good versus evil. Okay. And look, that thing, that's uh, relevant today because it's still good versus evil. Mm hmm. Yeah. So nothing has changed. No. But it, but just, it was something about, uh, you got to think about it. <sighs> Our great great grandfathers, you know, come across this land in covered wagons and and sell what we know as the United States of America. That's tough too. Yeah, you ain't kidding. I'm that was too. when a man hmm. was a man. You had to prove it back then, Sai. Yeah, you couldn't sit on the couch and talk about it. Yeah. yeah. We hey, all a bunch of mice compared uh, to them. Oh no, Butch, no, no. Si, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Who played Sundance? Paul Newman. Paul Newman was Butch Cassidy, right? And, uh, Look it up. He knows. I don't mess it. with him on Westerns. I love it. Also, Ben Who Johnson is in the Pro Rodeo Hall uh, of Fame. Robert Redford? No, no. Paul Newman and Rob, Robert Redford, I think, starred in it to begin with. What's the show? Paul Newman. Paul Butch Newman Cassidy was the Sundance, the Sundance yeah. kid. Redford was uh, the other guy. I'm but Paul Tom Newman Butch was Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid was Robert Redford. Okay. 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 So I, yeah. I'm trying to think of... Uh, uh, I'm just reading here. Ben Johnson was had a movie with one of these guys. I don't know if it was Robert Redford. It may have been somebody else, but he came walking out of the set and Ben Johnson said, you don't look like a real cowboy. He said, let's go back to the dressing room. He gave him his big cowboy belt and everything else and said, when you... Or playing the part of a cowboy. What was his name, Sai? Yeah, <laughs> it pains him. That, no, no, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That was in the museum. Uh, and and I want to say, no, no, no. I want to say who he he rode a motorcycle on one of them shows a long time ago. Big motorcycle guy. Oh, Steve McQueen. Yes, that's who it was. Look. Good answer, Sai. No, 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 no. Look, the guy's incredible. Steve McQueen. Yeah. The man is incredible. I can't even no, 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 Google no. any of that. I don't even no, know what's up. I'm, I'm going to file a petition to re <laughs> to spell Encyclopedia to si, be E-N-S-I. <laughs> so, Johnny D. C-L-O-P-E-D. What movie was Encyclopedia. What yeah. movie was it with Ben Johnson? Ben and, Johnson and Steve McQueen? Yes. Yep. I want to know that movie. Steve, Steve McQueen Steve and McQueen Ben. Steve McQueen was the star. Yes. Johnson. Johnson was one of the the secondary characters, and like he told me, the that, getaway, nineteen seventy two. That must have been it. But anyway, he comes out, and they're fixing to start filming. Ben Johnson just to hold it, guy. Now, he ain't no cowboy. <laughs> he's he, all all he, hat, no yeah, cattle. <laughs> he's no. He ain't a cowboy. He don't look it, and it ain't right. And it won't work. So hey, he's got his championship roping buckle on. That's he fantastic. said, here, put this on. And then he grabbed another tote and said, hey, wardrobe, hand me that hat over there. Oh, I love yeah. this. Thing. That's yeah. behind-the-scenes stuff right yeah. there. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, I feel like we got to give a shout-out to the Ben Johnson Museum, whatever. Oh, no, oh no, absolutely. Yeah. Where yes. is, what is it? So I tell me about I, it. I, I wish I knew. <laughs> I, I actually bought a book. I actually put a, the hat on that Ben Johnson wore in some of the movies. Uh, but the guy that runs it, okay, has, has a buffalo robe coat. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll send with, that picture to tail, Johnny D. Put the tail still on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? And, 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 Cody. Cody is his name. Cody, Who Cody. runs it? Yes. In uh, Paul Huska, Oklahoma? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's a big ranch up there. I don't know what the name of it is, but you ought to be horse whipped for not knowing it. Okay. Because <laughs> it's it, true. Yeah, I, hey, and I'm talking about like 20,000 cows on this ranch. That Ben Johnson actually worked on. The Ben Johnson there. Cowboy Museum. Yeah. I got it. I got their yeah. phone number and everything. Yeah. Okay. Looking for the side it's, it's cool. The great home of the world's greatest cowboys. That's it. Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. These people have no idea we're doing this, too. Wait, hold on. I got to find where it's at. I found their website. Pal Huska. And Pal Huska, Oklahoma. Yeah, Pal Huska. It's right next to the Pioneer Woman store. We're we going. We're hey, taking we, a run. Hey, we, we went there. We ate. Yeah. We ate there. Yep. 
And actually, now we're talk. No, no. Actually, you could have met her with us. Yeah, I, well, she come to my table, and I'm actually met her. Yeah. Now we're talking my language. I mean, I don't watch a lot no, of westerns, no, you, but I watch a lot thing. of Food Network. Hey, that was the coolest thing to go to. Okay. The Paul. Yeah, I'm in. We're going to Paul Huska, gang. Hey. Oh, you need to go see the, the Ben Johnson That's Museum because hey, this guy played in the movies. Okay. But Side. hey, Look. his real life, he, he was a real Side. cowboy. Sidon went up in this oh, rig dress for the park. He rode Look. this buffalo. I'm, yeah. right. I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking at that picture it. right now. <laughs> Text it to me Side right now. Sidon went in there dressed for the park. So. Oh, yeah. No, no. The, hey. And then there's Philip in a fishing uh, shirt. The Ben Johnson oh, Cowboy the Museum. Hey, look here. Here's what, here's what was the craziest thing. They were so fired up that I come there. Oh yeah, it's about, to see this. And you're Johnny. I didn't know you were this passionate about it. Oh no 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 no. So hey, cowboys, no. Look, they were my got he got an encyclopedia. It this is oh, fantastic, no. man. The Ben Johnson Cowboy Museum. That's, this guy is I, a is a roping champion. I'm in on this museum. Loud. This museum looks fun. I'm, I'm all, just in. I'm side. also in on the Pioneer Woman store. I'm in to Cy being this big of a fan. Of oh no, no, this, no, is, no. Fa- this is fantastic. I, we got to go back to Oklahoma. The only no, person I've ever seen Cy be this big a fan of is Jesus, and I love it. Uh, no, no, this is fantastic. John David, get that airdrop. <laughs> get on that airdrop bag. Yeah, <laughs> look in that air. Hey, 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 look under when that you said that, bag. I, I just my mind went to Creator. Oh, I love it. Went to what? It's fantastic. When he said, I'm, I'm, I'm this guy's fan and Jesus, and my mind was creator. Oh, my god. That's why I'm a big fan of so Jesus. Alive. He's the creator and the savior of the world, for crying out loud. I've just oh. never seen Cy si be a fan of something other oh, than Jesus. Yeah. This oh. is. I'm at the Ben Johnson Museum. Where does that come from? <laughs> oh, are Phil's you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the Ben hey. Johnson hey. Museum. I'm going to try. That's, that's yeah. Ben Johnson's hat. Yeah, do it. Oh, that's fantastic. Go. Ben Johnson's hat, everybody. That's it. Look that he this. wore in the movies he played in. Ah, oh, I awesome. love it. When I put it on, I just had chills all over me. Why is Angels in the Outfield on the TV behind you in this picture? He was in it. Hey. hey. Ben Johnson was in Angels in the Outfield? Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, hey. It was the only thing that made sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Now I'm confused. Uh, because of angels in the outfield. Oh, he played the uh, uh, yeah, King Kong. What? That was one of his first movies. Ben Johnson was in. When I was, tell you today is the first day I heard the the name Ben Johnson. This is it. He was in Angels in the Outfield. See, what I tell you? <laughs> so I knows everything, so I boys. I like Ben Johnson. Don't ever doubt it. That ain't the 5% to sweeten it up either. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, Let's wow. take our last break. We'll oh, be back. Boy. This I'm dude was in like a thousand movies. And we're back. Welcome back. And it's our favorite time of the week, arguably, because now we're going to get in that hello at duckcallroom.com inbox. Hello at duckcallroom.com. Johnny D, what's in there? Okay, Martin, do you remember that video that dude tagged us in on Instagram? I do. Si, will you please watch this? (laughs) (laughs) It's it's a raccoon pepper. A raccoon what? Piper. 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 Like the Look at all them raccoons. Look how big that one is on his left shoulder. No, no. Anyway, some guy, I forget his name, he tagged me and Martin on Instagram, and he's, <laughs> he's got 770 pound raccoons. Eating he's hot feed, dogs. Feeding them hot dogs. <laughs> Let me find out this guy's name real quick because I need to give him a shout out. But I thought he said you needed to see this video. That they, was from hey, Hunter. They, these are wild critters, people. And and hey, and look in, they're bad to the bone. And not only will they eat cat food, they'll yeah. eat a hot dog. Yeah. Eat a hot oh, yeah. dog. And then yeah. uh some Ka, no, Brad. Brad from Western Kentucky just emailed us. Uh there's a news story of a lady her dogs got attacked by a bear. And it attacks a strong word. I watched the video. Side, you watched the yeah. video? Yeah. And then the the lady goes and pushes the bear off the wall to save her dogs. Don't mess with mama. Black bear? No. No. Brown bear. Brown. It's brown. Brown bear. And, and I don't know if that's what I was looking at. I don't know if that's a grizzly 
It's a big, Brown. and there's two cubs with the bear. Yeah. And then the dogs are, bear, 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 bear. They're, they're barking and hey, this woman runs in there and knocks the bear off of the wall. Watch, watch, watch. You know the first thing oh, that comes to mind? Don't mess with mama. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Boom. Whoa. <laughs> Get you some. She form tackles that bear. Hey, but that is a black bear. It's brown. I know it's brown, but that's black bear. Okay. Well, that's a cinnamon color black bear. Oh, okay. Then why can't we have uh, that ain't black a grizzly. Uh, it ain't a grizzly. Well, I think that. Cinnamon colored You don't want to mess with that woman. <laughs> no, the hey, woman or the bear? Number one, she's crazy to begin <laughs> with. Okay? She'll sneak you, too. Yeah. Yeah. And she'll knock you over. She that ain't going to fight fair. fair. Yeah. She I ain't got to fight fair. I got to be honest right now, though. But you know the first thing come to mind when I watch that video? What is it? Darwinism. Survival of the fittest. That woman ain't gonna be with us long if she keeps doing stuff like that. <laughs> well, she was fitter. Let me just go ahead and tell you. She, she she had one fight in her. She won the battle. She got a long way to go in the war. Yeah. That's all I'm telling her right there. Yeah. That she ain't gonna be with us long. She yeah. keep doing stuff yeah. like no. that. Over we'll see her on WWE. See, because I, I actually sometimes you got to let a food chain play out. I, that was I mean, kind of my first thought. I love my dog. Yeah, you know, no way. Saying, yeah. But if yeah. there's a bear in my backyard and it's Dublin versus bear, I'm probably not going to join in with the dog. No, I'll like, probably call Wildland Fisher and say, man, I really appreciate if y'all hurry up. But that's about where that's going to end. Because yeah. 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 I can't shoot him. No. Because we're in Louisiana. We can't shoot black bears. So mm -hmm. Now that's yeah. like side. He just found something out. But sweet pea's too slick. Sweet oh. pea ain't going to get caught by no bear. Plus, that bear going to have to come in your house to get sweet pea, so it don't matter. Right. Sweet pea might take well, it. Hey, right, look. If he comes in the house, he can have him. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you yeah. better believe I ain't going to go. Most of the time, yeah, most time yeah. I don't get yeah. in the way of the food yeah. chain. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, you yeah. know what? Yeah. There you go. It is what it is, boys. There's, yeah. That's why I made yeah. I made a rule when I started hunting. I hunt nothing that will hunt me back. Preach. Ooh, that's Preach a good to rule that. <laughs> that's a good rule of thumb to live by <laughs> right it. there. Hey, mm. Preach. That's why I tell me, you want to go bear hunting? No. No, not even with a switch. And I said, what are you talking about? I said, I made a rule a long time ago. I don't hunt nothing that will hunt me back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Every time I hear bear hunting, I can't help think Coach Shales at West Monroe High School. He used to tell me, he said, boy, you big enough to go bear hunting with a switch, but you as mean as a honey bun. That's what he used to tell me. He said, if you's mean, you really do something. You know that? I said, Coach, I ain't mean. I don't know what to tell you. It ain't, it ain't in me. I, I, si was mean. He just didn't have, well, have enough weight no, behind No, 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 no. I've got one thing to say about that. I, okay. Beware of the gentle giant. Yeah. I just ain't mean. They will turn on you, though. If, well, you, if you back them, us in a corner. Yeah, if you push them too far, they will turn on you. But, just but the mean. smart people ain't going to push them <laughs> too far. And then somebody's going to get hurt. <laughs> the, uh, my, yeah, my junior high football coach called me Smiley. He was I'd like, you're, you're not. Yeah. You don't Why have, are you smiling? Were you, you as big football. then as you are no, now? No, no. I quit football, and I was the smallest person on the team, and then I showed back up to school next year, and I was the biggest person on the basketball team. It was a weird deal. I was a tiny child. You know, Jason Another shot up shack. after high school. Another Shaq. He yeah. got in that fertile loan. Shaquille O'Neal? No, yeah. I wasn't that good yeah. at basketball either. He wasn't either. <laughs> Wait a Shaquille minute. Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah. No, he was pretty good. So I, no, so no, I love the Shaq, I, hey, the hack of Shaq. No, no, look. Hey, when you're seven foot tall, weigh 400 pounds. Nah, you ain't no good. Yo, know, you just push somebody away and dunk it. That's pretty I'd be good. good. I'd be good, too. Yeah. You know? There wasn't no talent in that. He'd si. knock you out of the way and duck the ball. Was Shaquille O'Neal on steroids? Hey, if I'd si? have been a referee when Shaquille O'Neal played, he'd have fouled out in the first three minutes. Shaquille, if you're listening, I apologize. Hey, he this would push, man is wrong. He would push five times. You're gone. Hey, Sai, you better be careful. You know Shaq's a cop now. Hey, right? yeah. He's yeah. He'll arrest now. you. I like He'll when they interviewed you. Shaq after the game. He said, uh, took my big boom boom, me and my crew. I, I like your commercial they no got problem. going on right now with, with the uh, epic crust pizza. <laughs> Poor Shaq walks in there and got a stupid wig on. Tell me I'm the new guy. <laughs> what are we talking about? How did we get here? Hey, I don't know. We just it come hey, up. Hey, I will tell you this, Johnny D. Sai's got every commercial that he's ever seen, he's got them all memorized. Right. Somehow. I don't know how he well, does hey, it. Well, hey, if they're good and funny, I like them. All right, boys. And hey, that was funny about I'm the new guy. He said, Oh, I, I knew it was you. <laughs> <laughs> he's so eight, just he's eight foot, no he's eight foot tall, eight foot tall and 400 pounds. Yeah. And that's I why he's not you. good at basketball? Uh, uh, 
He's going to get fouled out in he the first three minutes. He, he already told you. Out if I was That's back whenever basketball players were men. No, that was Shaq wrestling. Played. That was wrestling. That wasn't basketball. Just knock the That's guy That's neighborhood away basketball. That's pool Same hard way. basketball. He'll go lay on the ground next Look, to LeBron James and cry because right. he got hurt. When you have to get on your tiptoes to dunk it, you know, big deal. You know, for crying out loud. That means and that Andre the Giant was a terrible wrestler. Uh, Negative, sir. Hold on was. now. Of course he was. Of so you just don't was, like right. oversized human uh, beings. Uh, well, I'm just saying, <laughs> no, hey. like, Cy been a little man his whole life. He's <laughs> always fighting for him, son. Yeah. He's always fighting for that little man. Look, the underdog <laughs> he ain't was. Short. The underdog. Hey, Cy, look, if you wasn't crazy, you wouldn't have been no good on Duck Dynasty. What now? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, no, no, look, here's the thing about that most people don't understand. Tell us. Crazy is a lot of fun, okay? I don't want to be normal, okay? No more is boring. Don't worry, you passed that with flying colors. <laughs> he said, I tried being normal for 30 seconds, and I didn't like I it. I didn't like oh, it. Boy. When did you try and be normal? Hey, for 30 seconds, a long time ago. Worst That's half really minute of his up. life. That's why I gave it up, boys. Oh, what else you got, Sean? We um, it, we up against time. What else you got? Well, we got the answer for the M M&M and M question. Which oh, one has it. more chocolate? What is it? We got different answers uh, from people that tried it, but <laughs> the one man Nothing sent a video. Scientific. Simon sent a video. It's clearly the peanut M M&M and M has more chocolate. If you take three peanut M and Ms and shave the chocolate off of them. There is more chocolate there than three standard M and M's. Ooh, what do you think? According Sam? to his research, wrong. I he sent a video. Wrong. <laughs> I think they're the same. Let's, let's use common now, sense. Now Caleb here. from Plainview, Arkansas. What's who, he say? He he listens to the podcast while he's uh, at the bathroom. Um, hey, is what whoa. he says. Well, I hope everything turns out for you, Caleb. If you're listening right now, Caleb. Yeah. I hope, now I the hope whole it, world knows all, what you're doing. I hope this turns out well for you. And, that's so weird. <laughs> uh, it also takes him an hour to get out of the bathroom these days. So he that melted. Like si. He claims to have melted down, actually melted of them. In the bathroom. And believe it or not, they both have the same amount of chocolate. But no video was provided from Plainview, Arkansas. Wrong. Simon provided video. I don't know where Simon's hey, from. Here's what you need video to do. Video ain't made it to Arkansas yet. <laughs> go find a PhD. Fun of go find a PhD. He's got a degree in chocolate. Doesn't exist. All right. Oh, yeah, it does. We got chocolate PhDs. Ain't no doubt about it. Food science. What? Right. Go. And what you do is, hey, you got a peanut. You got it coated with chocolate. Then you got the regular chocolate M and M. It ain't coated. It's solid chocolate from coating to the middle. Let's and if the- you melt them and weigh them, hey, the solid chocolate M and M is gonna win. Johnny, let's get the lady. From That's common sense. Paul Husky. <laughs> That's what I gotta say about that. I don't know what just happened. No idea. <laughs> Where's that Bible verse at? Let's get I've on. been trying to Google cowboy Bible verses, you know, oh. for Ben Johnson Day. My hero. Uh, always. Ben Cowboy. And I don't really have a great one to go along with being a cowboy. There's just not a lot of Bible verses about cowboys. Well, so if you have one, yeah, like, let us know. Let us know a good cowboy Bible verse. verse, cowboy, Ben Johnson, and we'll read it on the next one. But uh, I did find Psalms 27. Uh so chapter 20, verse 7, some boast in chariots and some in horses, but we will boast in the name of the Lord our God. Amen. Amen. That's a good psalm. Amen. That's a good one. So, yeah, hey, we'll boast chariots in Chariots or that. horses, boys. We don't but need chariots we don't do or horses. one of them. We go with the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, and we'll see y'all next Tuesday right here in the duck call. That's it. We're out. Bye-bye. Out. Bye. Bye. out.